on the African continent, over 750,000 deaths per annum are due to air pollution. It's the single largest environmental health risk that we're facing. Johannesburg is a very vibrant city. It's a cosmopolitan city and there's a lot of diversity. Such an environment actually spurs human ingenuity and innovation. That's a big part of why I've chosen to remain in Africa. Johannesburg is, is well on its way to becoming a mega city with uh, a lot of that migration, a certain unintended consequences. Motorization, urbanization, uh, waste burning. The challenge really is how can we actually grow our economies in a sustainable and responsible manner. We view this as a data problem. Most of the models for weather prediction are numerical models. We're using cognitive computing where we make use of machine learning. These are systems that can understand, they can reason, they can learn, continuously improve themselves. So we've got the software solution in place. To come up with a holistic solution, we do need to solve the data problem. A lot of uh, organizations are collating eco-compliance purposes. We're partnering with city governments, we're partnering with environmental protection agencies and, and various other stakeholders. So what we're doing is converting that data into insights. So we understand the technology, but they understand the challenges on the ground. So it's a partnership in the true sense of the word. Some of the potential outcomes include the empowering of citizens so that they can make more informed decisions for business, they'll be in a position to self-regulate. For government, it may mean that uh, they're in a position to make decisions using the best information available about how to expand public infrastructure as well as how to police industry. Predicting outcomes and improving the outcomes, that's what it means ultimately. Yes, I, I do believe I'm in the right place.